What's going on guys? It's your boy Avionics and this video is all going to be about the uh, underground arsenal turtle van that just got shipped out to everyone uh, over the last few days. I finally got mine. Mine came in today. Today's May 9th. It's been in Las Vegas since Saturday but they were not able to deliver it yesterday or as late as it came in Saturday because I guess on track the shipper is not open on Sunday so I was hoping it would show yesterday because I was off, but today I was at work, but fortunately my uh, a family member was able to bring it inside once it was dropped off so no porch pirates Arrgh. came. Now I am doing this opening and review in the dining room. Um, we sold our house, we moved out, we're currently temporarily living in an Airbnb so I don't have a man cave to open this up in. Um, I, obviously I'll be making my man cave and putting it, everything back together at the new house come end of August or September. So for now, all my stuff is like stored away, but I am gonna open this up and I'm gonna compare it, or I'm gonna show the size of it with all my Ninja Turtle collections that I have. So um, this came, I ordered mine from Show Z Store, Show.Z Store, and at the time I got mine for $228. And then with just with a $3 uh, pre-order or pre-order deposit, you should say. So this, was first announced last summer, um, I believe. Um, so I actually pre-ordered mine in September, and then it's finally 2022, and we are now opening it all up. So I'm very excited about this. Um, I have the, the original, well, not the original, but the reissue 2021 of the Playmates Turtle Van, but I have not gotten a chance to open it up yet because like I said, we're moving. Everything's kind of packed away, but I can take the, I mean, it's right there, over there. I'll just, it's still in the box, but um, I guess I'll, I can come, I can show you the box side by side. And then just so you get a, uh, an idea of how big this, this bad boy is. Let me go get that real quick. All right. So here's the Playmates turtle van. And then here is the underground arsenal turtle van box. So. That what sucks is there's no art, but that's okay. I like I don't keep any of my boxes. I open up all my stuff and I trash all the boxes. Let me go ahead and put that away. Let's go ahead and continue opening this up. Yeah, so it's just in a regular shipper box, and then it looks like it's just and protected by styrofoam so here we go the unveiling and unraveling so I also did order the uh, the NECA one too just because I think I'm gonna use this one for my Super 7 turtles and then obviously I'll use the NECA one for the NECA tune turtles that I have but here we go let's go ahead and away the styrofoam All right man this thing is big and looks awesome so in the styrofoam we have looks like the, the spoiler tail so it looks like there's not much involved as far as assembling it and hopefully I have all my my letters for the front shell right here because apparently someone in the face TMNT party wagon Facebook group was missing some letters so that kind of sucks, but so that's pretty much everything that's in the box. Let's go ahead and put these away. All right, wow. Wow, just, wow. oh, I've got, I've got some QC issues going on with this, I see already. So on the back of this, the first noticeable thing that I saw was on the back of the satellite right here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's some red paint right there. And then on this, on the driver's side right here, you see that uh, green scuff paint marks. Uh, hopefully, I'll have to test some isopropyl alcohol on a, a different area of the yellow part of the van to see if make sure that the isopropyl alcohol doesn't rub away any paint. Hopefully, this is just molded in this color because if so, if that's just paint, I can just use isopropyl alcohol on a paper towel and kind of rub that off. Let's go ahead and assemble our tail spoiler. So there's this piece. That's what it looks like underneath. 
then we've got the two vertical stabilizers for the tail spoiler right here. Any QC issues with these? Nope. Yo. So let's go ahead and basically you should be just plug and play. Oh, I do see a little another QC issue right here. Got some green. That one's not so bad. Not as bad as this one right here going on. All right, so it looks like it, it can go in either way, but we want it angled downwards and going forwards. Let's put plug in the back one. These are pressure fit, seems like. All right, there's one. This, is, this one's a tighter fit. There you go. At least I know they won't fall out. So this is my first underground arsenal anything, so I've never really heard about them at all. If anyone else has, please let me know down in the comments section um, if you bought anything from them, if you heard anything from them. All right, here we go. So there is the spoiler, all assembled. All right, let's go ahead and take care of the, uh, the turtle letters. Let's see if we have them all. Oh, we got letters spilling out everywhere. All right, we got T, U, R, T, L, E, and S. And then they have A, B, and C, but um, I don't know what those are used for, but here's a little closer look at the letters. You can see it in my hand, but they have peg, pegs on the back of them. So they're kind of small, but um, it should just peg right in here. Oof. Yeah, these are nice snug fit. And as you can see, if you can show Closer look at the peg holes. So the two T's are actually pegged differently or keyed differently so you don't, so they fit all together because I guess they couldn't peg it the same way on, the, on both T's. All right. T U R T L E S. All right, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at everything on the outside. So I think there is a battery because the headlights do turn on and underneath here is the battery compartment and then there is the battery switch and looks like there's a screw there so you can open up the battery compartment. So it looks like we need batteries. I thought it was going to ship with batteries. So it looks like it takes two AAA batteries. There is the battery compartment opened up so let me go ahead and pop some batteries in there real quick. Alright, so the batteries are all in now. Let's go ahead and turn it on. There we go, headlights. So these don't actually turn on. That'd be cool though if they did. Um, but yeah, so it's like a, uh, I don't know if you can tell by the, the camera, but it's a cool LED temperature um, light. So it's like a whitish, gives off a white tone. Let's go ahead and turn that off for now. Let's go ahead and check out the retractable guns, the blasters. So they, they click and they ratchet and they also, Extend so they go up as far as that, go all the way down like that. Okay, driver's side door. We have the mirrors, and then I think these are lights. I'm not sure exactly what, what those are, but this is supposed to be um, cartoon accurate because the way the top opens up. Oh man, this is so awesome. We're gonna get to that. Let's check out the, the driver's side door. Oh, there we go. So there's that. And then let's go around this way. Get, hopefully that paint comes out. So the, this side of the van door opens up. Got everything going on there. Around the back. So then here's the wheels. Larger wheels in the back. The back doors swing open and they, they swing open like the hinges are nice and smooth and it's got some tension to it. Same with the side door and the driver's side door so they're not like all loosey goosey. Oh yeah. And I think, so this door needs to be closed first just like any other van out there in the real world and then this one is supposed to shut right behind it. Doesn't seem like it closes all the way though but it like wants to push in towards the van. And then this side, 
Okay, so this opens up like that with the, uh, the seat. Woo! This looks awesome. So there's the, the blaster. Oh man, the gunner seat. Ah uh, yeah, everything moves nice and smooth. Also, the gun or blaster barrel actually extends as well. Take a closer look at that. Oh, that thing's falling. Passenger side door opens up. So let's go ahead and just open everything up while we're at it. Oh man. Also, there are two fire extinguishers here, but they are not removable. Sorry, I've already tried. And then the, there is that bomb right there that sits next to the gunner seat, but at, that is also not removable. But here's a better look at the, uh, at the inside. Also, I did forget to mention this hatch that uh, shows the ladder for them to climb up to the roof. And then they cleverly put these holes in here for the ladder to kind of just sit, the ladder rungs to sit in there. Also, I may have to add some actual reflective um, tape there for it to actually resemble a mirror. But um, everything is working smooth and opens up nice. So I'm seeing like these uh, on the ceiling, you have these like notches. It looks like they hold weapons. So we're going to try that out. It's on both sides of the door, the ceiling door. So let's go ahead and bust out our, all of our turtles. So we're going to bust out the neck of turtles first and then we'll get some of their weapons and see if they slot in here. So that'd be pretty cool if it does. All right, so I got their weapons out. So here is Raphael Sai. Let's see if they peg in here. Probably inwards. Oh yeah, I think it does. Well, okay, there we go. So we got one side there. Opposite, I don't think you can fit both in uh, right next to each other in this one. So I'm gonna move it down there. Got some nunchucks. The nunchucks should be able to fit in both. Let's go ahead and put both nunchucks in. The nunchucks fit a lot better than the size do. So I can just push them in. There we go. All right, so I got nunchucks and size in. Let's go ahead and put the katanas, Leo's katanas and the one bow staff that I have. So we're gonna have to, uh, that one, it's not gonna, uh, well, oh, uh, whoa, there we go, that, that works. Well now I'll show you here in a second what I did. I don't remember if my Donatello came with two bow staffs. This is, my turtles are the turtles in disguise Four pack, but there you can see the katanas and one bow staff. I think I do have another one, but it's it's in my little tote. But you could you could fit both bow staffs here, and they should close no problem. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You can stow all their weapons away up there. All right, so here are the turtles. Let's see how well they scale. It actually seems a little big, like, I mean, compared to like a full-size van, like in real life, like one of those 40 Kana lines. But um, hey, it's a cartoon, you know, you can get away with anything in cartoons. So I'm just gonna stand them up. There's Mikey. And then we got Leo. So yeah, so what do you guys think, huh? You guys a better idea of how everything looks, feels, scale, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bust out my Super 7s. I think the size of this is a little too big for, for the cartoon NECA, but I mean, it still definitely works. 
But um, I did not order the uh, Super 7 Turtle Van because that thing is just too darn expensive. 500 bucks. Here are the Super 7 Turtles. Mikey. Johnny there. So yeah. I think, I think this is definitely gonna work well with my Super 7 Turtles. Yeah, this is, I'm gonna make this one my, my Super 7 Turtle Van. And then um, I'm gonna make the NECA one when NECA arrives next year for my NECA Turtles. But yeah, what do you guys think? Actually, before we start sitting all the turtles inside and pretending like they're doing stuff, let's go ahead and try to attempt to fit the Super 7 weapons in the, uh, the ceiling rack since I will be associating this van with those turtles. The weapon handles for the Super 7s are a little bit wider and I don't think they're gonna fit in here. Yeah, you know what, it's, it's uh, just a tad oversized for Super 7 Ninja Turtle weapons. Size definitely won't fit, I can already see the, the thickness. So let me show you, we'll, we'll do the, uh, I'll show the close up of the nunchucks. The Super 7 weapons are just a little too wide to fit as I try to squeeze them in there, like I did with the NECA 2 weapons and they are not wanting to go, and that's all right. I'll just, I can 3D print a little rack to go inside or like a little crate for their weapons to go in there. But um, okay, so now let's go ahead and we'll sit the Super 7 Turtles in here first. All right, so I have, oh, I have Super 7 Wrath behind the driver's the steering wheel. And then I have, let's see, uh, Leonardo is sitting shotgun. And once again, these are the Super 7 Turtles. And then we have Michelangelo in the gunner seat. And then, uh, let's see if I can get Donnie, uh, a view of Donnie in here. But he is somewhere over there looking at the computer. All right, let's go ahead and put everyone um, NECA Turtles, NECA Toon Turtles in here now. All right, I don't know why I didn't do this earlier, but I opened up the back door so you can see Donnie a little bit better. Super 7 Donnie back there. But I do have um, the NECA Toon Turtles in here now. So let's start off with Donatello, who's at the other station. So if you can get, there he is. Or if you want, there he is right here from the side view. And then, trying to hold it so they don't, it doesn't fall out. And then we have Raph in the steering wheel, or behind the steering wheel. And then once again, Leonardo sitting shotgun. There's, whoa, 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 don't drop it. There he is sitting, and then Michelangelo once again in the gunner seat. Yeah, you know what? Tuna turtles look good too. I mean, I'm just happy I have it, so who knows as far as final association, but I think, you know, because I do have NECA pre-order also. So, I mean, for display purposes, my Super 7 Turtles will be with this van, but if I'm doing photography, I'm gonna do like all sorts of stuff with Super 7 and with NECA 2 Turtles. All right, so, so for some more figure and scale comparison, let's bust out April O'Neil and Casey Jones. And, up all the doors except for the gunner seat. Oh, here is April O'Neil standing next to the turtle van, and then let's see if I can stand up Casey Jones here. But um, there's Casey Jones, so that's how they look with the turtle van. And then let's break out the shredder, Nekatoon shredder. There, just stand them up against the, the van. There's Ultimate Foot Soldier. And then let's get Rocksteady in here and Bebop. So, oh, let's, uh, let's back everything up real quick. Give it some room in the frame. There we go. And then, uh, why the heck not? Let's break out Krang since he's readily available. There he is standing on top. Look at that. I didn't even have to like mess with his legs for him to just stand up straight on his own. So there's Krang. 
So um, a few things that I've seen on the Facebook group of TMNT Party Wagon or even just like the regular NECA Turd uh, TMNT Facebook page. Some, some people have been adding the tune lines um, onto the van. I think I'm going to go ahead and try that. I do have the acrylic paint, paint pens and we'll try that out. And then I'm going to try cleaning off that, that overspray of, well not overspray, but that green paint on this side of the van. But uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think down below in the comments section. I'm really, I'm so happy with this thing. It's like, if there's any other questions that you guys have regarding the Turtle Van and Super 7 or the NECA Turtle tune line, feel free to ask away and then I will, uh, you know, answer them as best as I can. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. And then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well to be notified of more toy and action figure videos like this.